सो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू आवर चैनल लर्न विद गिक्स इन दिस वीडियो आई विल डिस्कस यू अबाउट माई पावर बी आई इंटरव्यू एक्सपीरियंस एट ई वाई विच इज अ बिग फोर फॉर्म यू ऑल नो इन द एंड आई विल ऑल्सो टेल यू हाउ मच सैलरी दे ऑफर्ड मी सो स्टे ट्यून टिल द एंड बिफोर स्टार्टिंग प्लीज डू लाइक दिस वीडियो इट रियली मोटिवेट्स मी सब्सक्राइब टू द चैनल इफ ए न्यू टू इट एंड यू कैन ऑल्सो फॉलो मी ऑन इंस्टाग्राम लर्न विद गिक्स सो लेट मी टेल यू द एंटायर स्टोरी सो दैट यू कैन ऑल्सो रिलेट विद इट सिंस आई एम क्वाइट एक्टिव ऑन लिंक इन सो वाइल स्क्रॉलिंग थ्रू द पोस्ट आई फाउंड वन पोस्ट फ्रॉम वन ऑफ द मैनेजर्स from ey very mentioned there is a requirement of bi developer with the skill set of power bi sql and all tricks so since i have all these skills so what i did i just mailed him because he did mention his mail id in that post so i mailed him about my interest in that opportunity and also shared my resume with it i was not expecting that i will get the interview call after 3 days i got a call directly from that manager he just inquired me about my experience about my projects as well as why i am interested in this opportunity he found it good so he proceeded with the technical interview rounds and the next day my first interview round got scheduled at 11 o'clock in the morning i had only one day to prepare and revise all the skills means sql power bi as well as all tricks i thought i should not let it go so entire night i was awake i was revising all the concepts all the important topics also i went through that interview mail there i got to know the email id of that interviewer technical interviewer who was about to take my interview so what i did i went to linkedin and i searched his name and got to know what all skills he has been working on how much experience he has and what he is particular about so this is a nice strategy i think everyone should implement this if you get to know about the interviewer try to research about that person on linkedin so that you get to know about that person result will be that you will be little more confident and bit comfortable in the interview round when you will be facing that so i did that so as i said i was awake entire night i just slept for 2 hours and i woke up at 9 o'clock 11 o'clock was the interview suddenly i got another mail that your interview got rescheduled because of unavailability of the technical interviewer due to some personal emergency so it was very frustrating for me but i i didn't have any control over it i just accepted the another invite for the next day also i wasn't sure what exactly will be asked in the first round maybe it is sql maybe it is power bi or maybe it is all tricks but since i didn't know i had prepared all the three skills the next day interview joined the call i also joined the call and the interview started with sql and you know new theoretical questions asked directly presented a problem statement with 8 to 10 lines the first thought that came into my mind is that i won't be able to answer this because it's a big 8 to 10 lines of statement so a lot of nervousness was there initially but i had to attempt the question because there is no other option so interviewer said that this is the problem statement and on top of this you have to solve three sql queries and at the end i could only solve two problems out of three queries then i thought okay i finally solved two queries maybe the next couple of questions will be easy as compared to this after that problem statement he presented another problem statement again 10 to 12 lines of kind of case study and on top of this again two to three queries but since i gained little bit of confidence from the first problem statement i went ahead to attempt the second problem but when i wrote the solution in front of the interviewer he wasn't happy with the solution after that problem statement to uh, the interview got finished so at the end of the interview i wasn't confident that, that i will be able to crack this round because it was 50 50 i was very dicey the next day again i got a call from that manager and he mentioned that you have cleared the first round and you have to attempt the second interview round now but he mentioned clearly that the second interview round will happen mostly on power bi so for this round i was pretty much mentally ready that okay power bi related things will be asked i attended the interview and you know no direct questions from power bi was asked what the interviewer did he just went to a platform called enterprise dna and he picked a snapshot of a report that was already published on that platform and he presented his screen and he showed that particular report in front of me and then he asked me how you will implement all these functionality which are there on that report so there were questions related to what if parameters there were questions related to top and dax function there were questions related to selected view dax function i had to write two to three measures and at the end i was able to answer 95% of the things which he asked me on the spot so since i had more practical experience so i was comfortable to give the answers and i was pretty much sure that i will crack this particular round which was second round and the same thing happened i cracked the second round so now it was a sense of relief for me that okay finally two rounds are done and now i will be proceeding with the hr round for the salary discussion but wait nothing happened like that i was told that you will be having another technical round third technical round happened and in that particular round they focused on again on sql and all tricks questions from sql side i think three queries were asked and those three queries were, were purely focused on aggregate functions with the usage of case statements so very very important concept of sql case statements it is asked a lot in the interview so you can also prepare about case statements properly fortunately i was able to answer those three queries and also the basic questions of all tricks and at the end i cracked the third round also three technical rounds done now i finally thought okay finally i will now proceed with the hr round and discuss about the salary again there is a twist they said 
that you will have a client round also before your final selection is done at EY. So what companies have started doing is that they are they are also doing client round before you join that company. So fourth technical round got scheduled directly with the client for which I was getting recruited and they told me it will be entirely focused on Power BI but they also gave a disclaimer that the interviewer who will be taking my interview is very tough interviewer. He, they told me beforehand only. So you have to be very much prepared for that interview and at the personal level I got nervous also because if somebody says that okay that interviewer is tough you automatically get nervous. So after four days client round happened and the first question asked by the client was how much will you rate yourself in Power BI. So I thought if I rate myself less it will create a negative impact. What I did I rated myself 9 out of 10 in Power BI. He was surprised to hear this by the way. Then he first started with few theoretical questions and directly jumped to the scenario based questions. I think he asked me around 7 to 8 scenario based questions and out of 7 to 8 scenario based questions I think one scenario based question was I wasn't able to answer and that scenario based question which I wasn't able to answer was based on earlier DAX function just for your information I'm telling. So again in the entire client round I think 90-95% of the questions I was able to answer. Again there was a twist for around one week of time I was not shared the feedback what actually happened after, that, after the client round. So after one week of time they confirmed that my client round is also completed and I have cracked that round also. So four technical rounds done. Finally I proceeded with the HR salary discussion round. And just for information I am telling I was offered 22 lakhs per annum as a package but due to certain personal reasons I couldn't proceed with the offer but I recommended another person with the same skill set to the recruiter so that they can proceed with that particular candidate. And as a result that opportunity did not get waste. So this was all about my interview experience. Thank you so much for watching this video and stay tuned for the upcoming videos.